Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem, we're finding the equations of the tangent line and the normal line at the given curve at the specified point. So first things first, we're going to find the slope of the tangent line. We're going to do that using the derivative. The derivative we're going to find using the quotient rule since we have a fraction here, which is going to leave us with the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator over the denominator squared. Simplifying this, we get x squared plus 1, the derivative of 2x. It's a linear term, so its derivative is its coefficient, which is 2, minus 2x, the derivative of x squared. We have a power function here, so you bring down the 2, bring down your exponent into the coefficient. Then your new exponent is going to be 2 minus 1, which is 1. x to the first power is just x plus the derivative of 1 is 0, so we can just ignore that, plus 0 doesn't actually do anything, and this is your derivative. If you're actually solving for the derivative, you'd want to simplify this up and combine like terms and all that, but we're just looking for it when x is equal to 1. So y prime of 1, plugging in 1 wherever we see x, we get 1 squared plus 1 times 2, minus 2 times 1 times 2 times 1, over 1 squared plus 1 squared. Solving for this, 1 squared is 1, plus 1 is 2, so 2 times 2, minus 2 times 2, over 1 squared plus 1 is 2 squared. And solving this, we are going to have 2 times 2 minus 2 times 2 is 0, over 2 squared is 4, so this is going to be 0. So the derivative is 0 at 1. So the equation of the tangent line, y, prime, y equals mx plus b, well, we know that y, m, our slope, is 0, so y equals 0x plus b. So y equals b. Uh, now we can solve for b since we know that the point 1, 1 is on it. Plugging in x and y into their values in this equation, well, there is no x, but you can plug in y, so that we get b is 1. So therefore, y equals b, our equation is just y is 1. So in terms of thinking about perpendicular, normally you think of that as a negative reciprocal, where 0 times the slope of the normal line is equal to negative 1. And if we divided both sides by 0, we get the slope of the tangent line is negative 1 divided by 0. And that's not something we can calculate. But if you think about it, y equals 1 is the equation of our tangent line. And we're looking for something per perpendicular to that. And this is a horizontal line. So perpendicular to that is going to be a vertical line. And so that's going to be of the form x is equal to a. What is a? Well, x, if we know in, in the same way that we plugged in y, into this equation to solve for b, we know that x equals 1 and y equals 1 is going, to solve, is going to work for this equation too, since this point is on this line. So we can plug in 1 for x, we get a equals 1. And therefore, our equation x equals a just means x is equal to 1. This is sort of a slower way of thinking about why x is equal to 1. You could just say, okay, the x value of this is 1, Therefore, if we have a vertical line, all the x values are going to be 1, and therefore x is equal to 1. This is your normal line. This is your tangent line. Um, and that's just all we need to do. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.